today I have another mermaid tutorial in store for you guys. Now, I do believe that when I put my other mermaid tutorial a while ago out, I did tell you I'd show you how to do gills and web fingers. And here I am, still not having that tutorial for you guys. But I will give you just a rough guide of how I am doing the gills on me today. I'm not going to do web fingers today just because that is a lot more effort than I'm ready to go to. But this is the prosthetic that I use for my gills. This is actually a slit throat prosthetic that I have made previously. Now I just cut it in half and cut the middle out and just stack the two sides. I'll see if I can get that in closer for you guys to see. Stack the two sides on top of each other. However, I will be putting a third one on top of that as well. It is a pretty simple shape and you guys can make it easy enough yourself but if you would like to see how these are made and how you can also do some web fingers keep your eyes peeled as there should be some tutorials coming for you tomorrow and hopefully the next day so I am not going to show you how to do that in this tutorial but I will brief you on it in another one now I am kind of taking reference to I did a look a while back on my Instagram and people really really liked it and it was a blue and yellow kind of I think I'm called it a space alien more than anything else. And I was just like blue and I contoured with yellow or vice versa. And I just did dots everywhere. So this is probably gonna be more like a fantasy style stuff. I was about to say a fantasy mermaid, but I mean, really there is, spoiler alert, no actual mermaids in real life. So sorry if that's just broken somebody's heart. But what I kind of meant to say was this is not gonna be the tip mermaid. I am going to glue all three of these strips together to make one prosthetic so I'm not sticking three individual ones on top of each other. Now my adhesive, Adhesive, wow. Adhesive of choice is, of course, Prozade. That is my jam. I literally use it in everything. Now, you could, of course, do this tutorial as well without the gills. That's just a little added something extra that I really wanted to do. I will, of course, not be taking the shirt off. Just be taking it down for the duration of this tutorial. So, in the end, this is what your gill prosthetic will look like. So then you're just going to want to put Prozade on your neck and the prosthetic. Wait for them to become fully clear and then stick the two together. Now just with some warm witch hazel, I'm gonna go in and blend the gelatin edges. Now I'd highly recommend letting them dry back down again before you go applying anything to them. But while I wait for that, I'm gonna apply the yellow base to my face. I'm gonna take my nose ring out though because I don't think I want that in. I realize now that I'm probably gonna blend into the background for a little bit and I do apologize. <laughs> I already feel like I look highly ridiculous. Now I'm just letting you know that this is a non-damp beauty blender or makeup sponge. There's something I just really prefer about when using the Ben Nye cream paints, that just using a non-damp beauty blender is just my preference. I just find that it seems to blend together a little bit better. So then just with the blue cream color, just go everywhere that a contour usually would go. That's the best way to describe it. But do like super dramatic, like take a contour three steps too far, I'd say. That's the easiest way to describe it. Making sure not to forget your nose, of course. And I like to make it a little bit thinner than it is. Then just with the same beauty blender, I just tried to wipe off as much as the yellow as I possibly could just to not dilute the blue. But just go in and take your time with this guys, blending it out. Try and not smudge it everywhere. Otherwise you can get it really quite mixed together and the color just disperses. So just take your time, go through it, don't stress. And then of course, if there is any places that you do put too much blue, you can always just go in with a little bit more yellow on a separate brush, of course, and just blend that in just to get a little bit of that sharpness back to your contour. And then just with a little bit of blue on a paintbrush, just go in and paint the underside of the gills just to make it match in with the color scheme of the rest of the body. Now taking the Morphe 35C palette, I'm just gonna go in with yellows and blues and just set my entire face. Before you go and apply a powder to your eyes, just make sure that they are smoothed back out. Otherwise, any creases that are there will stay there forever. And then any places that you want a little bit of subtle blue, like not a really deep blue, just go in and apply with a little bit of powder once you have set it with yellow. Like the bags of my eyes and the corner of my lips, I do go pretty much halfway in to my lips, if that makes sense. As I found that it gives you this real kind of pouty look in the end, similar to a fish. I'm just taking the model's own duo liner and just using their crayon end to actually fill in my brows. Actually, scratch that. I'm going to try and fill it in with some of their kind of green eyeshadow. Now, I just feel like I could really deepen this contour a little bit, so I'm going to take a darker shade from the Morphe palette and just really kind of deepen the contour. Now, be very warned not to overdo this color because it is very intense. I realize how terrifying I look right now, but taking out the Rimmel 
Magnify, Magnifies color edition one and I'm just taking it this gold right here and I'm just kind of going to use it as a highlighter and I realize I look really really scary right now. So while you're there just apply it to your lips and then pretty much the entirety of your face because when it comes to highlighter I have no self-control whatsoever because it needs to be everywhere. I feel like I kind of want to elongate my nostrils a little bit so I'm going to go in with the model's own duo liner. I guess I'm going to try with the felt tip if not I'm going to go in with the crayon end. Now going in with the same blue that we contoured with, I'm going to actually put a little bit more on my eyes because I feel like it's making my eyes look terrifying. Starting with the lightest colour of course and then just working my way up a little bit darker. I'm going to go in and apply that highlight to my brow bone as well real quick. So I know I did say just brow bone but I decided my eyelids needed it too so we're going ahead and putting a little bit of a glitter lid on our eyes just to make them really pop. And then of course some lashes. Now taking the Essence Loose Glitters in Chameleon, I'm just going to apply that kind of to the deep parts of my contour, probably all around my face. Let's not get ourselves because I can never just do a little bit of something. Now if you really wanted these glitters to be really intense and lots of it, I highly recommend putting down a glitter glue, but I just felt that the base would stick enough on as I didn't want to go too overboard. Now taking the NYX Vivid Bright Liner in Vivid Halo, yeah, I'm gonna dot kind of little speckles everywhere, kind of in the contour. Now don't worry too much about the placement or the size or anything of the dots guys, make them as different and as scattered and ununiform as you possibly can as it'll make it look that little bit more natural. Now taking the NYX liquid suede in a little bit of dry, so I'm just gonna dot similar to this. I'm gonna do slightly bigger blue ones, so I'm gonna take a cotton tip and just dab a dab a dab. And then after I do a lot of big blue dots, I go in just with a finer paintbrush and then just put in some smaller ones to try and transition them into the yellow a little bit easier. So there we go, guys. Lastly, we're just going to take our hair out. So there we have it, guys. That is the finished look. I'm going to call it like a space mermaid. I don't think that that's actually a thing, but it's kind of a space creature, kind of a mermaid if you get what I mean. But let me know down below what you guys think she should be called. I mean, the gills are definitely not necessary, but I did like that a little bit of an addition. But if you liked it, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you do not miss out on any of the 31 days of Halloween I have coming for you this Halloween. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!